Hey vlog, so today is Saturday and I'm off to um, the BBU Power Hour, which is a um, a chapter that I joined, chapter that I joined for bloggers. Um, it's the Black Bloggers of Hampton Roads um, chapter. And so we meet like I think every month and we talk about like, you know, how we can grow our blog and better our business and also get some stuff done because it's a lonely road out there and it's much better when you have people holding you accountable for things and helping you push through like you know just you know the world of like you just putting off things procrastination you putting off everything that comes your way because I do that all the time so let's go do that so another reason why I am um, I joined the black bloggers United of Hampton Roads is because I have a ton of things that are going to be launching soon and they're going to help me hold myself accountable. Like if I schedule out this time to just work on the podcast, um, do the online course and um, like really fill it out, it'll be a lot easier for me to accomplish it faster. So I'm hoping that I can get some stuff done, meet some new people. Another thing, like, so I had, so I just had the mixer. We are one week away from, um, well, one week um, since the Flawless Hair Studios hair and beauty mixer that I coordinated. And most of the bloggers I invited and they came and they showed up. And so now I can't wait to see them and talk to them about it and see how they liked it and to thank them for, for coming. <sighs> um, yeah, I, this is gonna be a really good, a really good meeting a really good um networking event for me as well like it always is i don't know why i never joined a bloggers kind of networking thing before so yeah, i love it almost there um could i please get a a venti dark roast with um, sugar-free vanilla and um, soy milk, please. About how much soy did you want? Um, <laughs> Pull out the pinchers. Just a just a little. Okay. Just a little bit, like I guess, like a regular amount that you will put inside, like a. So we don't generally add milk to coffees, which is why I'm asking. Like, I don't want to give you too much. So if you just want to ballpark it for me, just like a splash. Or, okay, like you this. You got that? Yeah. I can handle that. That's kind of weird, but it'll be okay. I got it, that's all that matters. It was just an awkward conversation with the Starbucks barista. I don't know why I make things so awkward, but it's just my life. I'm vlogging today. Oh, okay. creatives together for dinner just like about as plain and simple as that <laughs> and so he was sitting across the table and like hey okay, okay. <laughs> you don't want to make it too obvious but you know it's like, okay, let's see. um so then we started talking and then i told him i was a beauty blogger he was like oh i have a friend who has a lipstick mom cool i would love to learn more about it 
So he connected us on Instagram DM, literally. She DM me and we started talking. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a beauty blogger. And I heard about your lipstick line and I wanted, you know, wanted to check it out. With, I had full on intentions of like purchasing. And then she was like, no, I'm gonna send you something. I'm gonna send you some stuff to try. Just go to the website and let me know like three lipsticks you wanna try. So I went on the website and picked my three lipsticks and then I did like a video and everything. And then she had like a sale and I went and bought a whole bunch of stuff. And she, we never even met. And she was like, um, I was shocked when you bought the lipsticks because I wasn't expecting you to buy them. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna buy it. You know, I ain't gonna just take this stuff for free. Like, I wanted to purchase because I want to support. Um, but that was basically a relationship that I just met, met Jamar. And it was just like, okay, what can I do to help you? How can, what can you do to help me? So then when he came to the next Black Lives United, meet up and he's like okay now he has another client that is looking to grow her business and he wanted to connect with the group so i'm like great so all of us went when was that that was last sunday it was last sunday yeah she had a grand opening and everybody was invited and we came and got to meet more people so it's like you just never know relationships are so key even with brands like even with major brands like you can technically have a relationship with a brand and people ask all the time, well, how do you get these opportunities? Like I just recently started working with Suja, the juice people. Oh. And it's like, how did you get that relationship? How did you meet them? I was like, I, I literally went and bought the Suja juices. They have like three that you can buy as like I said. Mm -hmm. You do it like for the whole day. They have like recipes and all this. So I was like, I'm gonna do it because I wanted to do it. I did it. I found their PR contact. I sent it and I was like, hey, you know, I wanted to share this with you guys. I did the challenge. It was great. I wrote a blog post about it. And hey, if you guys ever have any opportunities, I'd love to work with you guys on something. Mm -hmm. Six months later, six months, I never got a response. Never got nothing. Six months later, somebody reached out and was like, hey, we didn't have anybody, I guess whoever was reading the emails was gone. No. She was like, I'm so sorry, but I just started and I love the polls, you know, I appreciate that you, you know, reached out and sent us the polls, we want to work with you. Wow, okay. It's like a relation, it's like literally that's how it happened. Mm -hmm. Even meeting people in person, going to events and meeting people. I was just having this conversation with somebody from my podcast and we were talking about networking and how networking wrong and networking right mm -hmm. and we are talking about our pet peeves when it comes to like when you go to networking events and i was like i hate when people just give me a business card like it literally drives me crazy i would not take it mm -hmm. i would not take it if you yeah. didn't even introduce yourself and ask me who i am right. i would not take it because i hate because I think one of the like it like makes me like it's it. personal. Like, yeah, it's so impersonal. I just feel like you're just shoving so something off of me, and then you'll be the person that says we don't support each other. Mm -hmm. I can't support you if I don't even know you right. and what you do, and you don't know me and what I do. Mm -hmm. You have no you have no idea what I do, what I need, mm -hmm. and I don't even know what you offer. Because if I don't need it, who do I need to give it to? Who mm -hmm. do I need to tell about it? So you gotta you can't just. That doesn't work. Can I say something? It's yes, go. I go. Wanna, I so, so what I wanted to say was the reason why people um, have that really like yucky association to networking is because you give, you have your card, and then you give it to someone, and you think that that's a business transaction, and it's not. It's really networking is how can you help someone else help them grow mm -hmm. because when they grow you grow because you made that connection with them mm -hmm. and so when I met Jonna I was like what's your name what do you do oh that's cool what do you need oh my gosh I have the perfect person to help you have mm -hmm. content for your blog she wasn't even my client she was like like she was my friend so she wasn't even paying me to do this for her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I connected her and then in the future I had a paying client that needed my help with something and I said Jonna do you remember me? <laughs> she didn't even have a car because she don't like, she don't like. I don't even have them. No, but like I said, I said, I said, my name is Jamar Diggs. I do this. How can I help you like do whatever? I'm like, what do you need? Oh, you're a blogger. I know bloggers need content and it's so so I know that, that I suffer with procrastination all the time. And so as a blogger, you're like, oh my God, you by yourself, you have to do, do videos and your own graphic 
graphics and everything, what can I do to make it better for you? Give you people to easily just 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 interview or review without you having to hunt them down or like buy things yourself probably? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got a hook up for you, girl. Hey, like here you go. Yes, it worked out great. So, I think for me, because of my so I just wrapped up the Black Bloggers United Power Hour and it was so good. I met so many new people, dropped some gems up on them, okay? Because um, it's important for us to kind of, you know, help each other. I mean, I know so much about social media and stuff. I may, I mean, I, I may as well try to find a way to give back. Oh, I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit. Okay. But yeah, every Black Bloggers United Power Hour is so good and I'm so happy that I joined like meeting Jana from Natural Glam and all these other bloggers and building all these connections and the fact that today's topic was about relationships like that was on point so on point it really hit close to home everything that we talked about I'm doing now and it was just such a good a good experience. I, I love bloggers. They're so amazing. Now I have to get home and do my podcast. I've, I've been playing the podcast. Oh, they, they even gave me some good feedback on my course for Brand Academy. So I'm like so here for the bloggers and everyone having questions about social media and how to use it for their business. So I'm going to work on my podcast. Hopefully I can get through one podcast um, episode today. Maybe I'll like try to find a way to record while I'm recording the podcast. I don't know how, how that works. I don't know how the fancy YouTubers do it. So I'm going to have to just wing it. I don't know. So, okay.